Hello Supercoaches, welcome to Buy, Hold, Sell ahead of round five. Tom Sangster is trekking in the Himalayas, so I'm filling in for him. We're starting with the buys, it's all forwards. Jackson Ford at the Warriors, 640K, 50 odd in base, can find a try, you got 100 plus last week, so you're gonna make money next week, get on. Max King from the Dogs, 60 in base this week, 54 the week before, he's pretty reliable, should have got a line break last week too, <clears throat> scorers. Not that I'm bitter, um, but I think you'll do all right with him. Speaking of hard-working props, Jack DeBellin, he's at the Saints and he's a dual position, front row forward, second row forward, 600K with consecutive 70s. I don't think he's got the upside, but he won't let you down at the price of 600K. Josh Kerr, now this one's risky. Another dual position, 420K, just keeps scoring tries. He won't keep scoring tries, but with a BE of 13, you could take a punt on him. Speaking of punts, Kai Pierce Paul was my preseason punt, and I didn't get on, and all he's done since then is make me look like an idiot. Um, he scored 60 last week, 60 the week before that. Just get on now, because I think he's only going up. Kale Iroh at the Sharks. 220 Kane had a big game last week, but wait. He doesn't play this week because he's got a buy, and then next week they've got some cattle coming back. He could struggle to hold his spot. David Fafita, a second row forward god. 57 in 55 minutes was a good return for him. Luckily, he's named on the bench again this week. If he can keep that up, we might get him a little bit cheaper next week or the week after. Speaking of gods, Tommy Turbo, 777K, and people are selling, and I do not understand it. He's done nothing, nothing, and he's averaging 70 points. Just wait, because the big scores are going to come. Luke Metcalf, uh, so I feel really bad. In the Q&A, someone asked about Metcalf. He was going really well, and I said, yeah, but he can really, he can find an injury, and unfortunately, he's, a broken leg has found him. He's got to go. Morgan Smithies, you don't have to sell him this week, but you should make plans. He only played 56 minutes last week. Corey Horsburgh on the bench again. I think the minutes are on the way down. And the other one is Alex Johnson. Unfortunate, he's been a, a real star of the game for us. Just keeps scoring tries on the left edge for the Sharks, but he's done his hammy. Old man hamstrings tend to linger. I'd sell him now and uh, find some cash elsewhere.